kids are asking for chocolate biscuits. Have you got any? Um, there's only two left. Oh, well, don't worry. They can go with that. Um, chocolate biscuits are a bit of an issue around here at the minute. Why? What's he been saying? I'm eating them out of house and home, apparently. Oh, that sounds familiar. I am so glad... So glad what? It's not fair on you. So glad you're not living with them anymore? Yeah. You must have loved them once. Yeah, I remember that day. It was a Tuesday, I think. <laughs> you wish you'd never married him? If I never married him, I wouldn't have the twins, would I? That's the point, isn't it? That's why I put up with for so long. I suppose you know all about it. About what? shooting. I'd heard about it, yeah. And? I don't ask questions. Better that way. I know what people must think about me. But if they knew, if they really knew... The thing is, I was a bit crazy then. You don't have to explain. I've been crazy too. To know all is to forgive all. <laughs> Something like that. People always want to judge, don't they? But they weren't there. They weren't part of it. They should just learn to shut up. That's what I think anyway. Well, what are we talking about here? Is your married man? I was 16. I didn't know what I was doing. He took advantage of me. All right, he took advantage of me. Doesn't mean I wish it never happened. I knew what I was doing. Listen, we all make mistakes. Yeah, and we have to live with them. And if we didn't make mistakes, wouldn't life be so boring, eh? Some of the best fun I've had in my life has been when I've been making mistakes. <laughs> Better go get those chocolate biscuits. Oh, I thought you weren't supposed to leave me alone with the kids. Sodom. Who cares? <laughs> You never get sick of it. Sick of what? Being a greengrocer. That's a job. Yeah, but sure you get sick of it. Now, how many different ways are there of selling a pound of sprouts? That's better than working in an office. Better than doing nothing at all. Now, that's the whole point. I'll have uh, a pound of onions, half a pound of carrots, and a bulb of garlic, please. What are you up to? I thought with your missus being away and me being at a bit of a loose end, you could do with a decent meal inside you at the end of a hard day's greengrocery. So I'm cooking a spaghetti bolognese. What do you say? Hello again. Fresh chocolate biscuits, so I'm stocking up with supplies before Ian finds out and clamps me in irons. What was that about? That cousin we have in common. One biscuit short of the whole assortment. <coughs> Speak of the devil and he looks over your shoulder. Was that Mary I just saw going to the shop? So? Well, she's supposed to be looking after the kids. Let's go and tell Mary. Going on. Just playing a game. Can you come through to the kitchen, please? Why? Just do as I say. I'll be back in a minute, all right? Mm. What's we'll he doing out there? Nick's waiting to give me a lift home. And where's Mary? She's gone to get some chocolate biscuits. What is the problem? You know full well what the problem is. Ian, what do you think I was going to do? Is everything all right? What was the last thing I said to you before I went out this morning? Well, come on, are you deaf or what? We were out of chocolate biscuits. What was the last thing I said to you this morning? Not to leave Cindy alone with the kids. Thank you. Ian, leave Shut it. Shut up. What do you go and do? I was only gone a couple of minutes. Have you got any idea how long it takes to bundle three kids into a car? Oh, this I is ridiculous. I told you to shut up. Oh, believe me now. This is what he's like. Understand now why I left him? Why I thought she wanted to get out from the day I married him. Pack your bags, you're fired, and you can clear off and all. I think I can hear Lucy. Stay crying. there. Go on. I told you to go. You're an unhappy, sad, nasty man. Do you know that? Go on, go pack your bags. And what are you waiting for? Your boyfriend's outside. There's no way I'm leaving you with the kids when you're like this. Are you saying I'd hurt my own children? Have I ever laid so much as one finger on them? You don't have to, Ian. I'm asking you nicely, Cindy, for the children's sake. Will you please leave this house? It's not your fault. Understand? It's not your fault. Dad is angry with me and Mary. And it'll be better soon, I promise, all right? I love you. Bye. I'll see you in court. If there was any justice. What? It doesn't matter. Just go back in there and put a video on or something. I'll, I'll be in in a minute. What's happened? I knew it was a mistake. What's he said to you? Just go, please, just go. 
All right, Mark's just gone to get Pauline. It'll only be a minute. Now tell me again exactly what he said to you. <laughs> I'd only just gone to get a packet of biscuits because I knew he'd be angry if he found out they were all gone. <laughs> Is that the wife? And Ian's fired you? He told me I had to get my stuff out. I couldn't bear to hang around. It's all right. <laughs> you can leave that with me. Oh, what have you done now, you silly girl? It's not her fault. It's that nephew of yours. Where are you going, Connor? He's got to realise if he picks a fight with my daughter, he's picking a fight with me. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I have nowhere to go. Oh, come with me. I'll look <laughs> after you. Mark. Just make sure Connor doesn't do anything silly. Come on, let's dry these tears, shall we? It's only because I love you. You've got to understand that. You're the most important things in the world to Daddy. If Daddy was wrong to lose his temper like that. I mean, but even growing ups do silly things sometimes. Open up. Come on, I want to speak to you. Open up. Stay here and uh, we'll be back in a second, all right? Just watch your video. Open up. Go away, my children are very upset. Yeah, well, my kid's very upset as well. Oh, come on! You listen to me, you son. Oh, 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 calm down. Calm what down. gives you the right, huh? She was under express orders. I don't give a flying pass what she's done. You don't speak to my daughter like she that. She was told not to leave my kids alone. You heard me There's say it. There's a word for squirts like you. You know what the bully young girl's like that? The word's coward. Now, you give me one good reason why I don't stick my fist down the back of your throat. Daddy. Do anything like that to my daughter again. You'll be eating hospital food for a month. You get me. Which is her room? Upstairs, first on the left. Don't mark, all right? Just don't. He was bound to be upset. It's totally unjustified. We weren't there, all right? We don't know the full story. Yeah, well, I hope Connor's as reasonable about it as you are. Hey? Well, he's gone to see Ian now. Why didn't you tell me that as soon as you came in? He's only got to give him a piece of his mind. He's not going to hit him. Well, how do you know? Stay here. Oh, I've got Mary next door. I don't give her monkeys. I'm just coming to see him. Yeah. He's just worried about his kids. Don't start That's trying all. to make excuses for him, man. I'm not making excuses no for him. No wonder his missus ran off. Who would Where's Ian? What have you done to my son? It's all right, Kev. No harm done. I'll tell you one thing for free, though. That son of yours is a 24 carat fruitcake. He needs psychiatric help. Either that or a personality transplant. Where are the kids? It's all right, they're watching the video. What have you done? Oh, come here. It's all gone wrong, Mum. It's all coming down around me ears. I've, I've lost it, I know I have. What have you lost? Everything. Cindy's gonna get off and. I'm gonna lose my kids, Mum. Don't be daft. How could she possibly get off? I don't know. I just feel it. What am I going to do? 